Okay, we have a few parts for the Huffy Scout. We're just gonna go through these parts real quick and then we're gonna get them installed on the bike. This is kind of phase one of the upgrade on the bike. So we're doing new bars. This is a wake bar, 720 millimeter wide, 30 millimeter rise, and then it has the standard clamp size here. Our stem is the wake stem. These are kind of budget friendly stems. It's a 45 millimeter stem. We're using these corky grips. These are actually lock on from both sides. I like that fact and they're, pre they're pretty comfortable. And then pedals, we're going with the Puroma pedals. They have sealed bearings. They have an Allen key to lock them in. I've had these on another bike. They worked out pretty good. So this is, these are kind of budget parts. They're not super high end, but they're a much better upgrade than what's on there right now. So let's get over to the bike and get them installed. All right. First, we just need to take off this uh, grips brake levers and our shifters shifter is a uh, four and right, I'm just gonna cut these grips off all right those are garbage All right, now let's slip this off. Slip our brake lever off. Gotta keep them on that side. Keep... All right, let's keep it on. Come over there. All right, pull that one off. Okay, five millimeter. These two bolts here that are holding the bars on. All right, hold on to that. Now right, we'll just leave those on there. Now we're going to take this top cap off. This is actually a Phillips. It's not a Allen bolt. So we're just taking that off. That there, and then we're going to loosen loosen these two up here. All right, Tice, come hold the bike. Come hold the bike up. It's gonna f this this fork's gonna fall out. So we're just loosening up this clamp here. This stem's clamped on. Okay, send that to the scrap heap. All right, I'm gonna take the fork out just because this thing isn't like seating properly some of the bearings aren't you always get crappy bearings you know you don't get like a sealed bearing set that actually like fits good into these Hold it up there. Let's get the uh, new stem. Yeah, keep that straight there. We're gonna need a spacer on the stem. Okay, if you see here, the the size is different on the stems. See how much wider this one is. So when I put this one on, it's we can either we can so we can do space we can do some spacers right here or we can do them on top. I think we're gonna lift this up a little bit, so we're gonna put spacers right there. Okay, we're using these two. I don't know. There's no sizing on the spacers themselves, but we're using those two there. So if you buy this same kind of setup, you'll need some spacers. So grab a couple of spacers, and we want it. We want them on the bottom. So we basically want this to be right at or slightly below the, where the stem sits where the stem sits okay so now i'm gonna get the top cap back on so we're gonna use this cane creek one just because it's got an allen bolt it's a little, little better quality than the one that came with it here all right Tyce, grab me the uh, allen wrench that fits this that red handled deal Oh, 
was five foot five away. Okay. There's still some there's still some slop in that. There shouldn't be any slop in that. The problem with these is there's those Well, they just use a bunch of little spacers, some crappy bearings, and so there's just a lot of play in here and there shouldn't be any play. There should just it should be solid. So like it shouldn't See how it's like bouncing? See the this top cap is tightened down, but it's still bouncing around like it's like the bearings aren't seated properly or something. So let's take this off. We got to get that fixed. All right. Upon inspection, while while I was taking this apart, if you see here, this is kind of the order that it goes. This is the this is kind of the top cover. There's a little plastic spacer, and then this piece here that fits into the bearing. It looks like that was like upside down. So really, there's no wonder why the bearing wasn't properly fitting, where there was a lot of play or slop in the, the headset here. All right, well, I have this off. I'm going to put some grease on the bearings here because there's hardly anything on there. It's still got a bunch of wiggle. This piece of junk, dude, seriously. Okay, so I was able to get the uh, the fork back on, the new stem. I use this uh, Cane Creek uh, stem cap, and we have our bars on. This was a hassle. The, the big problem was that it just seems like the, the so the steer tube that goes through the, uh, goes through this part here, this is just, it's just not a, a tight fit. And so there's a lot of kind of slop in here as, as you move around. The bike just kind of it kind of jostles around a little bit so I, I couldn't figure out how to do it. I did I did have to put in two spacers here for this new stem because this stem is thinner in overall height than the original one so if you're gonna replace just the stem make sure you get a couple spacers here that's probably I don't know, 15 millimeters or so of spacers uh, but you'll want to make sure you have those on hand as well uh, but if you see here I just want to show, show you a demo here if I Hear the clunking sound. I mean, just the fork is just seems like it's falling apart. There's like grease coming out of it, so the fork has to get replaced. That's that's an urgent thing that we got to get done. And any suggestions on a fork, like a budget kind of fork that's going to be better and lighter than this one, uh, let me know. Happy to hear any any suggestions that you have. Okay, so we got our handlebars all swapped over. Hand handlebars, our stem. We put a new stem cap on and our grips the grips these grips feel really good i really like these grips these have lock lock uh, they lock on both ends i'm going to swap the seat over this is from our other bike but this is a super comfortable seat the seat that comes with it is very uncomfortable so we're just going to swap this seat over make it more comfortable wrench here just to give it a fun that allen key in the middle makes it really easy to get these on all right so we're pretty much done and this is our i'm going to call this our stage one upgrade so again just to recap we got grips a new bar stem stem i didn't buy the stem cap i had it i could reuse the old one that had been fine uh, i needed some spacers here so that was an addition and then we have pedals and a seat all right okay i'll leave links in the description if you're looking for uh, some of these parts here and then i'm going and then really our our next my next priority is really this fork this fork's got to go and i'm also going to see if i can find some good uh, hydraulic brakes and kind of see how it how it looks and performs after that the drivetrain is fine even though it's got this you know the 
triple chain ring up here up top and then the seven in the back. I think that's that's going to be sufficient for right now. Uh, that might be a stage three upgrade as far as the drivetrain is concerned. But stage two is really going to be the fork and brakes. If we can find that, uh, find some you know budget friendly brakes and a fork. Any suggestions on a fork? Let me know. Leave a leave a comment in the description. But it's shaping up. These grips, I'm actually impressed with these grips. These grips are super comfortable. Okay, well, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to give a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for more updates on this bike.